Hello artists, I am Cinta Garcia de Sola and welcome to my channel Crafts for Everyone, the place to learn about crafts and artificial intelligence applied to crafts. In today's video, I am going to show you how you can create an impressive logo using two powerful tools, ChatGPT and Canva. If you are a craftsman, entrepreneur, or simply want to learn something new, this tutorial is perfect for you. First, let's talk a bit about the tools we are going to use. ChatGPT, developed by OpenAI, is an incredibly useful artificial intelligence for generating ideas and getting inspiration. Canva is an easy-to-use graphic design platform that allows you to create professional graphics in a matter of minutes, even if you have no prior design experience. The goal of this video is to teach you how to combine these two tools to design a unique and personalized logo for your business or project. We are going to start with ChatGPT to generate some ideas and concepts, and then we will use Canva to bring our design to life. So without further ado, let's dive into the creative process. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any content. ChatGPT is an artificial intelligence tool that can help you generate creative ideas, solve problems, and much more. If you are not familiar with ChatGPT yet, in the description of this video, I have left two links to two videos from my channel. In the first one, I explain from scratch what ChatGPT is and how to create an account. The second video is an important update on ChatGPT for free accounts you can't miss. But let's get started with today's topic and discover how ChatGPT can help you design a personal and unique logo. I am going to show you the process I followed to get a first image of the logo. I started by explaining to ChatGPT that I wanted to open a new print-on-demand store on Etsy to sell items with original and customizable designs. First, I asked for name suggestions for my store. ChatGPT provided me with 10 options and I finally chose cookware designs. Then I showed ChatGPT the current logo of CocoArt and asked for suggestions for a new logo for QQ art designs. Maintaining the original style, ChatGPT generated a new logo inspired by the original, keeping the teal and orange colors and the cat element. This is really not necessary. You can also explain the style, name and colors in words, and it will generate a logo according to your instructions. But I already had a logo and I wanted it to maintain a similar style with the cat and the colors of my brand. I reviewed the suggestions from ChatGPT and requested some adjustments, such as asking it to include the word designs, correct typographical errors, and add a small decorative detail. After several iterations, we got a logo that I really liked, so I right-clicked and saved it. I already had my logo ready to take to Canva. Once in Canva, I clicked on Create a Design and chose the logo option. Then I uploaded the image of the logo that ChatGPT had generated for me. Once it finished downloading, I clicked on the photo and adjusted the size. With the selected image, I clicked on Edit Photo. The first thing I was interested in was correcting the text, so I selected the Text Capture option. As you can see, this tool selects all the text from the image. I chose the text from CookWart and clicked Capture. Now I had the option to correct the text and even the possibility to move it to another location, so I deleted the extra letters and adjusted them. I repeated the process to modify the phrase custom products, which had appeared twice, and changed it to the word designs. I increased the font size and placed it in a spot that I liked. To clean up some errors and unwanted objects in the logo, I selected the magic eraser option. First, I used the brush to select the spots I wanted to erase. I adjusted the brush size to be precise and avoid erasing important parts of the logo. Once I had everything selected, I hit delete. Since some remnants were left, I repeated the process to remove them completely. Next, I chose the option click to select the objects that I didn't want to appear in the logo. Once I had them all selected, I clicked delete again. To remove the background and make it transparent, I selected the background removal tool. Finally, I went to the background tab and looked for a background that I liked. 
I eventually decided on this light background with a recycled paper look. All that was left was to center the image and save it to my computer. In less than an hour, I had my personalized logo ready to use. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and that it helps you create your own logo. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any content. And if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. It helps me a lot to keep making more tutorials like this one. Thanks for watching the video and see you in the next tutorial. See you soon.